Здравейте, казвам се Даша, живея в София от една година и половина. Уча български, но още говоря малко. So I will continue in English, sorry for that. <laughs> Uh, I'm working in DevExpress for quite a long time. Uh, latest few years as team lead. I own some pets. Nechovieshke, I know. Uh, dog's name is Rory. I teach her some tricks and obedience. Also, I like powerlifting. So I may say that I am literally a strong engineer and also I may teach you something even if you're a dog. So this is my career path. Uh, I like this gift very much and put it everywhere, my team knows. <laughs> uh, speaking seriously, there were several brokers uh, we worked with and some other names, but I cannot put them here. <laughs> So, a few words about the team. Our team consists of 120 engineers, uh, mostly manual quality assurance engineers, but I need to highlight that when we speak about manual engineers, we mean that this person uh, doesn't automate full time. Uh, most part of our manual QA engineers also automate. Uh, half of our engineers have IS2QB certificates. Uh, some of them have uh, advanced level certificates. Some of them have uh, two. Uh, and also we have some interesting plans related to certifications and in our Sofia office, but it is still a secret. So I didn't tell you that. Uh, this piece of art uh, represents what our software basically does. So our software allows people to sell and buy. Sounds pretty simple. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, it is not. So uh, what are our main challenges? Uh, when we are speaking about FinTech, we mean lots of everything. Uh, thousands and thousands and sometimes millions of different instruments of different types. Uh, thousands uh, and thousands of users, Th uh, hundreds of orders e executed per second, and so on and so on. Another big challenge is general complexity. Uh, if we are talking about only main scenarios related to order processing, there are uh, hundreds and th hundreds of them. I even don't talk about account metrics, risk management, localizations, and so on and so on. How we handle that? Uh, I will speak quickly about our process technologies and we will take a look at example. So, uh, general process is pretty common, I, but I need to highlight a few things. First, uh, we start uh, to think about production incidents in the very beginning. So when we receive requirement, we already start to think what may happen on production. In this case, when our product is ready for delivery, we already have a plan what may happen and how we may handle that. Second, uh, we uh, need to think what is under the hood. Understanding of interior structure of our software is a kind of must. Next, uh, we use shift left approach and start testing as early as possible. So we use in branch testing for that. Uh, when we uh, run locally a particular uh, feature branch, uh, so we may test features separately and it goes to master only after we are sure that everything is okay. And of course, full regression is just not possible. Projects may contain up to 20,000 of test cases, so it is just not possible to run all test cases for each release cycle. So, risk-based approach is our best friend again. Here is a list of our technologies. Unfortunately, it is just not possible to speak about all of them. But if you have any questions, we may talk about this later with a drink or somewhere. But our main tool is not Java, not automation, 
our main superpower is test analysis and test design. Maybe you are asking yourself why she is talking about that. There are basics. Uh, well, yes, test analysis and test design are basic things, but they're basic not because they are simple. They're basic because they are essential. Uh, without that, our automation, shifting left, anything just doesn't matter. It won't work if our test cases are poorly designed and don't cover risks. Let's explore a small example. Basically, basically it looks some, like something from testing courses for beginners. So we have some price field and we have some rules of price validation. Let's imagine that I am a quality control engineer and I want to test this. Okay, I have a field and I have some requirement. I'm taking a look and I see that at first we have dependency on current market prices. It means that our, valida our validation rules change all the time because market prices change all the time in typical case. Second, we have some parameter that we call distance. Great, so we have dependency on some parameter and we also have dependency on market prices. So, how it looks like on the surface? Just some price validation on UI's, UI side. But, actually, this is a very simplified diagram how it may work. So, we have two different exterior systems uh, that connect to our backend using two different APIs. Two different APIs. Uh, those systems send, send some particular parameter to our backend. And they don't just send parameter, they send hierarchical structure of lots of, that consists of lots of parameters. And our backend needs to apply uh, particular logic to understand what exactly parameter we need to use. After that, backend takes another parameter that depends on instrument type. Uh, and calculates uh, the final um, value for distance and provides this value to UI. Um, okay, uh, is it really all information that I need for testing? Of course, no. Uh, I need to understand what exactly happens. Why, uh, why I am testing that? Am I just running some usual regression and I may just check validation on UI side just for any distance value? Or maybe we had, uh, for example, um, backend refactoring and it, uh, some code related to API calls uh, handling was refactored. In this case, I need to test this part. I need to be sure that our backend hand, uh, understands correctly what exact parameter to use, that uh, it really applied some overriding logic, really calculates <laughs> what do we really need, and uh, final distance value is correct. Is it all that I need to complete my testing? Mm, again, not. I need to answer myself. Do I understand how to investigate incident if it happens? And if I can answer this question, in this case, it's a kind of flag that I really understood how it works and I really covered risks. So, to summarize, again, our main superpowers, our main weapons, test analysis and test design. Again, shift left as it is just possible and risk-based approach, again, our best friends. And if necessary, add some beautifications. Uh, it's a kind of optional thing, but it really helps sometimes. Много благодаря. Приятный вечер.